I say well hello motherfuckers and welcome to the video man I am Lost Soul Gaming man proud member of Camp Life and what it do people man and uh in this little video here man I'm gonna break something down for y'all real quick man and I know there's been a lot of chatter about this shit man and uh one of the reasons there's been a lot of chatter about it man is in the community that you pay attention to it's because it has to do with call of duty okay and i know what you may be thinking what we talking about here we talking about updates we talking about new maps we talking about new guns no what we talking about man is the ftc uh open investigation on loot boxes and I've seen a lot of folks, man, doing a lot of videos about this right here. And uh, I don't get it. I don't get what the big hoopla is all about, folks. Um, supply drops was never forced upon nobody. Okay. Uh, you was never forced to buy supply drops. I played Black Ops 3 for three years, folks. I never bought supply drops. I had every weapon within the first year. I played the shit out of the game, though. You know I mean, I grinded the hell out of it, and maybe some luck was on my side. But you are never forced to buy these. Now, on the other hand, you got these YouTubers out here dropping these videos knowing that the fan base is wrapped around kids not only the youtubers knowing their fan base is wrapped around kids but knowing the companies that's making these games especially like call of duty knowing their fan base is kids and i know what y'all gonna say well the game is rated for mature audience okay well let me ask you a question what mature audiences that play shooter games do you think they was trying to appeal to with some of the stickers that they put in this game? Like like a unlucky cat, as Thunder would say. A, as a, a dancing avocado. You know what I mean? No grown man that I know gives a damn. Gives a flying fuck about none of that shit, folks. So who was they trying to appeal to? They wasn't even trying to appeal to the 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 year old motherfuckers, bro. They was trying to appeal to the jitterbugs, man. They was trying to appeal to these 10 and 11 and 12 year old kids, man. That's the only motherfuckers who gave a damn about that type of bullshit. Okay? So, but in the past Call of Duties, We've had supply drops, which are basically the same thing as a loot box. Uh, and they're saying it's gambling. Um, they're saying that uh, that it's angled towards kids, gears towards kids and stuff like that. I do agree that it's geared towards kids. Do I believe it's gambling? Yeah. But see where everybody is failing to realize and they're making such a big fucking deal about this is is Call of Duty already did away with that shit, folks. They done set it up. They knew this shit was coming, man. They done set this shit up where it's like fucking tears now. You know what I mean? You got the, the black market supply drop type of stuff. It's not loot boxes no more. Let's look at it real quick. Now, what we got here, man, is we got the black market, okay? So, you can buy, like, your season passes and and all that other shit. And here's where you can buy your cow points. So, basically, for two bucks, you get uh, 200 cow points all the way up to 100 bucks for 13,000 cow points. Uh, and that's what they're doing. They're giving you real money. I mean, you're giving them real money for these fake COD points, okay? So now, what we're going to do is look.
They've changed it from the loot boxes, man, to now it's a tier system. Or you can just spend your shit straight up on skins and, and, and stuff like that, stickers and stuff like that now. So there's no more of the loot boxes. So everybody out here making this big deal about, oh, Call of Duty is screwed now. Call of Duty is screwed now because... uh. The FTC is is looking into loot boxes and stuff, man. No, they not. They already prepared for this, man. Listen, man. Call of Duty did not become the company that they are by being fucking idiots, man. Listen. Including myself, okay? If you look at this game alone... This game alone is nothing but a rehashed Call of Duty. This shouldn't be Call of Duty Black Ops. This shouldn't be Call of Duty, you know, Infinite. This shouldn't be Call of Duty Modern Warfare. None of that. This should be Call of Duty Mashup. Because all they've done is taken a lot of the guns out of other games. And they either changed the name to it. Or they didn't even change the damn name to it. They just added it in here. They've taken a lot of the damn maps from other games and added it in here. They've taken the characters from Black Ops 3 and added them in here. And guess what, folks? Myself included still bought this damn game. So, whether you like it or you don't, man. Don't buy the points if you don't want to tear up, man. Grind it and get out there and get it in the mud. Just like your boy did out here on this motherfucking lobby, man. I went beast mode on these folks, man. And we got up a 34 and 2.